Hello YouTube, I want to share another trick with everybody. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever uh, had to cut some bigger holes in metal using a hole saw on your drill press or just hand drill in general with metal. Uh, the trick is to add a little bit of cutting oil. Uh, any old tapping or type cutting oil like that will do. Uh, just go ahead and add right in there and it starts giving you these nice fine little shavings and doesn't give you that chattery uh, cut that you know everybody complains about with doing a hole saw. To start this cut off I cleaned it off with brake cleaner and everything to show you what chatter's like. I mean I'm sure everybody knows this is chatter. Uh, this is how you get a bad cut. <laughs> And you get some little shavings, but for the most part, it just seems like little teeny little chips and powder coming up. Now we're going to go ahead and hit it with some uh, tapping fluid or any type of drill fluid work. I just throw it right in that slot there or right where I'm about to cut. Go a little bit like that until I start hearing chatter. Give it a touch more oil. As you can see, I was getting some of these long shavings now. And it definitely cuts faster and gives a lot cleaner hole. go. Finish that hole up and I'll give you guys close up how this look turned out. Considering it's a hole saw, I think that hole turned out beautiful. You can see all the little teeth marks and everything. It's not oval shaped. I'm a cutting bit. Get a lot longer life out of it that way too because it's not vibrating so bad. Some of that chair toward the end I was getting was because I was about through and I don't care how accurate you think your drill press is or hole saw, these all got a little wibble, you know, foobar in them. So when you go through it always seems like one or two teeth will go through sooner so then it'll start chattering as it's going around. <laughs> 